Hello my dear friends welcome to our uh, youtube channel so in this video we are going to learn about alcova so alcova means you, you all know right alcova stands for attributable legible contemporaneous original accurate so do you know about this c so you don't need to confuse again alcova c or alcova ccea or alcova plus all are same terminology used in so for the same word same principles of alcova they all are same so coming to the uh, introduction to the alcova this was first introduced from the fds office in 1990s and this c alcova c the c in the alcova was introduced in the year 2010 so coming to the details of alcova in recent times there are a lot of data integrity issues so with the while for by following the principles of alcova we can put a check to the data integrity issues by following proper gdps i mean good documentation practices so in this video we are going to learn about in detail the each and every word of the term alcova so coming to the details so here you can see ccea complete consistent enduring so these are the latest terminology added to the acronym alcova so coming to the first of alcova attributable so what do you mean by attributable so attributable means so whatever the paper and electronic data uh, that is there must be attributable to the person who is performing or generating the data so this can be done by just uh, by signaturing i mean initializing at the time the data is being entered in the paper or electronic data and the date sometimes the time also so attributable the next thing is legible so legible means whatever the data must be legible and it must be clear and permanent so the records so if the records are legible and permanent which is and must be accessible throughout the data life cycle including the storage of paper and electronic data so coming to next word which is contemporaneous whatever the data we are going to enter must be contemporaneous so so at the time it is performed you must enter the data at the time it is being performed so spontaneously you need to enter the data what you have seen what is the result that must be entered there must not be any manipulations like that concept so data should never be backdated this is a very important point during good documentation practices you can never backdate a data and uh, with and also do not enter the results before performing the test that one also comes under contemporaneous so contemporaneous means so data must be entered at the time it is being performed and should be flow in order of execution of data to be credible so these are the details regarding contemporaneous so coming to the next principle of alcova is original data must be original so how do you define original data is original so whatever the data you have entered in the first notebook that is the original data so whatever the data you enter must be the first original data like you you can see in your company you may be using notebooks spreadsheets database or software applications so data is initially recorded so where the data is initially recorded is the point to be noted so which comes under original so coming to the next concept or principle of alcova is accurate for a paper and electronic data to be accurate data must be free from errors if there are errors also you can correct it but according to the good documentation practices so whenever there is a date cut or a or a, any data cut then it must be properly acknowledged according to the principle of good documentation practices so it will help you uh, secure the data maintains the integrity of the data so the next concept is ccea complete consistent enduring and available so here you can see complete so data must be complete all test results must be properly recorded consistent the sequence of events should be in the expected sequence of operations so you can understand and must be time and date and time stamp so enduring whatever the data must be available for a longer period of time appropriately recorded in the laboratory notebooks or in validated software systems which may include spreadsheets databases etc and the data must be available paper and electronic data are required 
I mean, whenever we need the data, it can be readily retrievable. That is the concept of available at all time during audits. Whenever the auditor requests a certain data, it must be readily available. So this is the concept of Alcoa. So Alcoa means this acronym was first coined by who coined this? Stan W. Woolen from FDA office in 1990 and Alcoa plus the CCEA is introduced in 2010. So coming to the important details regarding Alcoa. So Alcoa is very important which provide a technique ensure that the whatever the paper and electronic data are compliant with the FDS regulations. Again, I'm repeating this point. So these are the concepts of Alcoa. I hope you like this video. So if, I, if there are any mistakes in this video, you can acknowledge me by sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will, video will be very helpful to those who don't know uh, new to this term Alcoa in the data integrity. So thank you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.